Good afternoon. I am OV Hightower's class of 2018, Senior Class President, Brittany Azawa, and I am pleased to introduce to you today our 2018 valedictorian, Sharon Zachariah. Sharon is a very dedicated and hardworking individual with many accomplishments throughout her high school career. For those of you who are not given the opportunity to know Sharon, you missed out on meeting a very bright individual. Throughout her high school career, she has been very active in extracurricular and community activities, as well as volunteer services. I am proud to share that Sharon Zachariah was heavily involved in clubs and organizations such as Future Business Leaders of America, Speech and Debate, and Student Council. Additionally, she has interned at Pan American Obstetrics and Gynecology, Baylor College of Medicine, and MD Anderson Cancer Center. As you can see, there's more to Sharon than that girl who sat beside you in AP English. Not only did she manage to balance out academics with community involvement, she also served as a youth volunteer at the Siena Branch Fort Bend Library. Outside of school, she has volunteered at places such as Autumn Leaves Alzheimer's Home, Second Mile Missions Center, and Samaritan's Purse. As if her community service isn't impressive enough, Sharon was awarded the President's Award for Academic e Educational Excellence, placed first in science fair in district and school, and placed at regional and state competition in marketing, which consequently qualified her for nationals through FBLA two years in a row. Impressively, Sharon has been accepted to California North State College of Health Science, University of Houston, Penn State University, Texas Tech University, and University of Texas at Austin. Additionally, she has received scholarships from University of Houston, Texas Tech University, and Penn State University. This fall, she plans to further her education in the honors program at the University of Houston and plans to major in either psychology or public health. With that being said, I would like to welcome to the stage your Hightower High School 2018 valedictorian, Sharon Zachariah. Thank you, Brittany, for such sweet words. Good afternoon, parents, teachers, Fort Bend ISD administrators, and my dear friends. Before anything else, let me just say, I still can't believe I'm standing here right now as valedictorian in front of all of you. Truly, this is the day the Lord has made. So let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Standing here, making this speech has been one of my biggest dreams since elementary school. Well, that and being a fashion designer slash teacher slash doctor, let's just say my imagination ran wild, but I'm forever thankful that my dream became reality. It's kind of ironic how I've wanted this for so long, but now that I'm actually here, I really don't know what to say. One thing I know for sure, I couldn't have accomplished this alone. This speech is the culmination of constant nurturing and years of support. Thank you to all the teachers and administrators who taught and worked with me over the years. A special thank you to Mr. Jimenez who brought in my thinking, Jay, Coach Jones, and Ms. Tompkins for guiding me through speech and debate, Dr. Ramon for all his patience and passion for teaching, and Mr. Self for making a mean brisket and encouraging me to do my best. Let us all remember that this commencement wouldn't have been made possible without viewers like you. Thank you. <laughs> Family and friends, you are here today to support a graduate. You deserve as much recognition as those sitting on stage today because you are indeed the behind the scenes personnel who made this day a reality. A special shout out to my personal team, to my grandparents, Apuchin and Amichi, 
റാന്നിയിലെ അപ്പച്ചാമ്മച്ചി എനിക്കറിയാം നിങ്ങൾ എവിടെയാണെങ്കിലും എനിക്ക് വേണ്ടി എപ്പോഴും പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുന്നുണ്ടെന്ന് പിന്നെ തിരുവനന്തപുരത്ത് അപ്പച്ചാമ്മച്ചി നിങ്ങളെ പോലെ ഞാനും ഇപ്പൊ സ്കൂളിൽ ഫസ്റ്റ് ആയി നന്നായിട്ട് പഠിക്കാൻ എന്നോട് എപ്പോഴും പറയില്ലേ ഞാൻ എന്താ അത് ചെയ്തു also to all my family who came down to support me today a big thank you my heart goes out to you to biju papa and family who made my transition to houston so much smoother to my parents who went through so many hardships and sacrificed so much for us from going to college while taking care of three little kids to coming to a new land with only a briefcase you've done things which i never could amma You've been there for me at all hours of the day, literally. You've sat through and listened to everything I've had to say, good and bad. Despite being my human punching bag sometimes, you've taught me what it means to be a strong woman who works towards goals, even when the odds are stacked against you. Dada, thank you for motivating and supporting me through it all, telling me to just do it all the way. to my sisters Irene and Maria I know we have our ups and many downs but at the end of the day I know you'll always be there for me as I will for you though we all have our own people and support system the future still feels like pandora's box filled with so much confusion and chaos but I know it does for me but at the end of the day I have firm faith that we'll be running with these Look around graduates. The people sitting next to you are not only your friends. They're entrepreneurs who have started their own businesses. They are future teachers, doctors, activists, designers, lawyers, maybe even president. One of you? <laughs> These last 4 years have been a journey, and I want to thank all my friends who became family, raising me up along the way. We the Y2Ks are indeed a resilient group. Why? Our senior year started with Harvey and didn't end with the threat of an ice storm. But it's always a great day to be a hurricane, right? We were born in a year when they feared the world would end. Grew up alongside smarter phones and virtual reality. and are eternally being reminded of all sorts of issues plaguing our people many seem to complain about the structure of our society yet not as many seem to be doing anything to make a notable difference miss lewis mentioned in the beginning of the year how gen z is the generation project projected to take care of the socio economic imbalance in this country when we're of age while i was merely intrigued by that statement then i can now firmly say that we are the face of a new era one with a different set of beliefs than our parents and the people of power today this is america a place where kids my age in florida led rallies and were able to impact the floor of debate on capitol hill in light of recent events i would also like to take a moment of silence to respect the fellow students who are victims at santa fe high school days away from graduation and a new chapter in their lives thank you i would like to say that you're looking at the next bill gates or the next steve jobs but you're not no one sitting here is like someone who has already been each graduate is their own individual america today is not the same america from 100 years ago and america 30 years from now will not be the america of today and that is because of people like those sitting on stage today we are the face of change a new generation who will do things in our own way if you see something you believe is not right say something each one of you with a tassel on your head and those of you in the crowd who will make it onto this stage one day just know that you are the future it seems crazy right now and i can't even believe i'm saying this what does little brown girl know about the world anyway but being a part of high tower high school and this diverse community i can sincerely say that i've seen how change starts with me with you so congratulations class of 2018 go out there and make your mark yeah.
Thank you.